Well, I just got a phone call saying that I have some calves out. Let's go get a four-wheeler, chase some calves, fix some fence, swap shockers, and then maybe check some water. I got my horse loaded up. Let's go chase some cows. I don't know where you guys live, but do you have like solid? These are nothing but sand burrs. I mean, just everywhere up here. It's just terrible in the road ditches. Well, let's go get these calves in. Thing is, I know a car's coming up behind us right now. Oh, okay. That calf is running back, screaming, hollering at its mom, saying, ah, I was chased by the big mean man. That is laughing at me, saying, ha ha, he ran into a post. Dang, four-wheeler. Always something broke. There, that's the tool I need. Because what I'm doing here is I'm just putting it in neutral so I can start my four-wheeler. These old, these old ranchers, they do that. There's a shifting solenoid in there that just goes bad a lot. But they're good four-wheelers. Oh yeah! Come on, come on! Oh, dang it! I was say yes, my lucky day. Come on, baby! Oh yeah! Ouch! I guess you could say I got stuck again. So I just checked this fence and it's all good. Everything's up on insulators. My shocker shows I'm getting a full charge through the fence. Let's just do a little side-by-side -side comparison of this 12 volt uh, Palmark shocker. Oops. So there's a little bit of juice going through there, not that much. So I'm gonna swap this out and put in this guy here. Gallagher B260. That one is a is a pretty tough shot. <laughs> That'll zap them. There we go. Double solar panels, 12 volt car battery hooked up to a B260 bench charger. Let's see what the difference in shocking power is now. I would say that is definitely shocking better we'll find out tomorrow if the calves all stay in well i'm gonna chase this old gal back in let's go get that cow that's a 
tight gate. Well, the real reason these cows keep getting out, I'll show you. They're not so much out of grass in there, but it's all these kosher weeds out here right now. They're getting that little seed head built up in there. That seed isn't quite developed yet. It's in what would be called the soft dough stage, essentially. And the cows love them. I'll show you. And they're just essentially trying to get all this good stuff. Here you go, girl. See how she just nips the tip of them off right there, just like that? And she just ate the top half of all that. That's all they want, it's just the top little bit. They move on to the next one. It's super good, super palatable, and high in protein and energy. Which, some years, that's all the hay we have to put up is kosher hay. And this might be one of those years. No swimming. No feeding babies in the stock tank. <laughs> 